And now to implement the cart view. We're going to base ourselves on the product catalog, use a table format, and add a default picture. So let's just take this index, copy it, add a new file to the user views, and we'll save it as cart.php. And cart.php is what I said. So I need to rename this cart.php. Okay, and paste everything in. Now, this is not exactly the same product catalog. Let's just call that my cart. And uh, the logout link we can take care of after. Let's remove the adding an item. And now we have name, price, action. Let's add here the picture. And in fact, we actually don't need to have the, um, the headings at all, but let's just add the picture in. Now, we're not gonna have the edit, delete, or add pictures as hyperlinks or buttons, but we might want to have a hyperlink to the product details, that's for sure, uh, as part of the user catalog product details okay for a certain product ID that's fine um, now let's add the picture in for this we have a set of items which is gonna come uh, through the data um, and we want to have a an image right here so IMG SRC is equal to src is equal to slash images slash item arrow file name good and so this is going to show an image we can format it a bit later there's going to be an item name and an item price. We should certainly set also a quantity. And write that this is the unit price. Okay. Now to get all of that data into the view correctly, we don't actually need to set it up as an array. We just need to use data here. So in the user controller, let's add a public function view cart. And this view cart function should get the cart the user card first, as we did here. And then from there, get the order details. I think it's fine for order, but we'll make sure from the cart order ID and let's go verify here in the order detail model we have get for order with order ID so we're gonna use get for order order ID and this is gonna be the items now we want to call the view The view is named user cart and pass in the items. Okay, this seems reasonable. Now let's 
verify that we can view our cart. Uh, but before we do that, let's add a hyperlink to our product catalog. The viewer product catalog, that is. So here we have our logout link. And it stands to reason we should not have a shopping cart if we're not logged in with this technique because we're using the session user ID. Um, so let's just say user view cart here. My cart and save this. So let's see what we have here. We have my cart. Let's click. Oops. And we get all sorts of madness here because we're not getting the proper information. So let's debug this right now. Let's see what we are getting as part of these queries. In our user controller, what we're going to do is we're going to var dump items. not call this and see what's going on and if we look at this always echo pre for pre-formatted before you do var dump okay but there's a question why this is shown as such there is an error in the way that we are getting this in the order detail uh, get for order we want to fetch class and not product really not product but really order detail this is what we need that's going to make a difference okay Let's take a look at what is not okay by re-establishing the output. Okay, so we have our milk here and we can look at the milk details and that's pretty good. Now, <clears throat> we certainly need to add an action to remove something from the cart and we certainly need to manage the quantity here because the quantity is not showing how about our database we have the quantity showing here so there's something missing our query is not quite correct if we look at the order detail ID yes we should have also included the quantity so let's add in the quantity And we see the quantity now. Good. Now, as part of our cart, let's add a hyperlink to remove an item. Let's just put an X or something. User remove from cart and instead of product ID we want to use the order detail ID good now if we look at the user controller to remove something from the cart public function remove from cart and we're going to pass in the order detail ID we 
we need to first get the item. So we're going to do that by using this model order detail and let's just find an item. And I believe we had not implemented this yet. So we not we had not found a reason to do so. So let's just find this order detail ID. So let's just select star from order detail where order detail ID is equal to order detail ID with the same corrections below. Okay, this is going to help us find the record we're looking for uh, if we want to delete it the same way as we've been doing before. Okay, and now we want to delete the item. To avoid any problems with uh, users trying to delete items from other users, uh, we want to make sure that nobody can invoke this if they don't own the item or if the item is not in their cart. So to make sure that a user owns this record, we're also going to find the order for this order. So I'm going to get item order ID to get me to the order. And if the order user ID is equal to the session user ID, then I can allow the item to be deleted. Otherwise nothing happens and I now redirect back to the shopping cart. So this is location colon slash user slash view cart. Okay, now we should give this a try. Let's see what this looks like. There is an X here, so let's click on X and see if it deletes the item. Good, the item has disappeared from our view. Let's verify that it's gone from the database as well. And it is gone. So perfect. Well, we certainly have to have a hyperlink back from my cart back to the um, actual product catalog. So let's just add in this hyperlink right now. Back to the user index. And we say back to the catalog. And good. So now we can add items to the cart and remove them from the cart. So if I were to add this to my cart, the cookies, look at my cart. Oops, I need to make sure that I insert the proper code to not view this broken image since there is no image. So we did this previously in our catalog for the users. We had some special code where we would check if is set the file name and otherwise output the default picture. So we're gonna do that again. Looking at our cart, let's look at where this happens right here and simply paste that in, save it and look at it again. There we go, the default image appears.
we're good. Now it would be suitable to change the quantity to what we wish to have. Let's just say we want to buy three boxes of cookies, then you know we want to be able to do so. Uh, maybe there's gonna be two techniques to do this. When we go back to the catalog and add an item to the cart for a second time, if we look at our cart, we should not have twice the item, but only once the item with an incremented quantity. So let's make that change now. If we look at our user controller, when we are adding to cart, and we wish to make sure that we change the quantity by one, this would be an update. So for this to happen, we need to make sure that order ID and product ID become unique and that we can insert into a table and on duplicate key update. So we already have a duplication in order ID and product ID combination right now. And so we need to delete one of the records to make the change happen. In the structure, we can select order ID and product ID and then click on unique. This is gonna ensure it's impossible to have two records with the same combination of order ID and product ID. Now let's try, let's look at the data. We have product ID five and order ID one. So using this format, the type of query we want to accomplish is insert into order detail an order ID product ID quantity and price with values I believe the order ID was one the product ID was five the quantity we wish to add is one and I think the price is 658 and on duplicate key we want to update the quantity to increment it by one so we write quantity is equal to quantity plus one Oh, the cookies are five ninety nine. So so if we were to try to increment this, click go, we would get that the quantity would change now to two incremented. So we want to implement that in our database correctly. Um, and we will do so by modifying how we create an item in our model order detail and so here instead of simply inserting we want to insert into order detail order ID product ID quantity price the values which we did and then we do on duplicate key update and increment the quantity let's try just adding the quantity placeholder again Let's remove this, save everything, go back. Let's look at our cart. We have two cookies, back to our catalog, add to the cart cookies again. 
look at our cart we go these now all right back to our catalog add the cart so we add the cart a few times view our cart and now we have seven delete it's gone back to our catalog add the cart two items view our cart the items are there okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day